Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at alternatives to the iPhone weather app. So the iPhone comes with a default weather app. You can use this app to look up basic weather info for your location or cities around the world. But a lot of people have complaints about this weather app. Sometimes the information is too basic, other times it can't find a specific town, and sometimes the information just doesn't seem to be accurate. Fortunately, there are plenty of free and paid weather apps in the App Store that you can use instead of this default. So the first of three free apps that I want to show you is the one from the Weather Channel. And there you can get lots of information, much more than you can get using the basic weather app that comes with your iPhone. You can see some of the different screens here. And of course the information is coming from a different source, so the accuracy may be better for you. So next here's an app from AccuWeather.com, the AccuWeather app. Also has lots of detailed information and a different interface and some live video as well. Here's another free one called WeatherBug which pulls from its own set of data using its own weather stations. So which of these free options do I use? Why well, I don't use any of them. What I recommend a lot of people do is look for an app from your local TV or newspaper and see if they've got weather functionality in it. For instance, uh, one of my local TV stations here has an app with local news and local weather and the weather is actually coming from that station which is local to me so I'd rather have this forecast than anyone provided by a national or worldwide service. And here's another thing I do. Instead of going to an app, sometimes I use my Safari web browser on my iPhone and go to the Weather Underground site. Now if you go to i.wund.com, you get an iPhone optimized view of the website and I like all the different features at weatherunderground.com. So if you want even more features and functionality, there are some apps you can buy. For instance, the Weather Channel has a the Weather Channel Max app which has more features and also lacks the advertising. You can also get the MyCast Weather Radar app. And another one is Weather Pro. Now if you want something a little different, there's some apps that have innovated. For instance, Weather Snitch has a very different looking calendar interface. In addition, there's one called The Weather, which actually allows you to customize the screens to have the information you want. And there's also one called Outside, which shows things in a very different cartoony way. Now I'm going to include links to all of these apps at this post at MacMost.com. So look for them there. Now one question I know I'm going to get is how can you get rid of the default weather app once you've installed one of these? Well you can't. But one technique you can use is to create an app folder. See episode 414. And you could put unused apps into a folder called unused. Or maybe you want to gather several weather apps including the default weather app into one weather folder. It's a good way to organize things on your iPhone. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.